everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Guys, welcome to Wally's Crib. It's Manchester Wednesday, guys. And you know what? I got a new player. Actually, I tried, I tested the song on Monday from the Smiths. I wanted to get to know. Fell in love with the song, guys. Big Mouse Strikes Again was amazing. I love very, I don't know how to describe the voice of Morrissey, guys. It's like a very unique voice. It's not the kind of voice that you hear him scream and give us distortion. It's always very lyric, very cool. I don't know how to describe exactly the words not coming out, but I love this. So guys, I'm going to leave some spot today for the Smiths. Don't worry, guys. I'll come back with the Stone Roses and Sex Pistols. I got four bands from Manchester that I need to take care of. And now I wanted to listen to a song. I was checking out your comments, guys. Thanks a lot for watching the video from The Smiths. It is giving me the drive to get to know them and to do some more reactions. Now the song is There's a Light That Never Goes Out. Pretty simple why I chose that song. It came back a couple of times in the suggestion. So I, I read what you guys uh, uh, wrote. Uh, not what you guys wrote. I read what you guys... Yeah, actually, what you guys wrote. <laughs> Sorry. English, second language, guys. Sorry about this. But I just read it all. And I got some comments suggesting me songs, and I was very happy to see that there was some big fan of that band from what I can see. So there's other songs that were suggested. I will be doing it, that's for sure. This is the next one. And don't forget that I have took out every song that you suggested, that su suggested, and I will check them out soon, guys. So I'm talking too much, making two errors, too much, 10 errors when I'm talking. I don't know why I'm having a hard time talking, so why would I talk some more? Don't forget to like, subscribe, press notification, and comments, guys. I'm shutting up. I'm letting the Smiths do their thing right now. Take me out tonight Where well, there's music and there's people and the young and the Driving in your car I never, never want to go home Because I haven't got one Anymore Take me out tonight Because I want to see people And I want to see life Driving Oh, please don't drop me home Because it's not my home It's their home and I'm welcome no more Ooh, Guys, holy crap You know what? I'm just reading those lyrics And I found the word I was looking for to describe his lyrics I mean, when he's just I mean, there's a sadness in his lyric when he's singing it I don't know how to explain it, but it's always it's something sad the way that he's explaining. And those those lyrics are sad, guys. Seems to be a guy that uh, he wants to just get away. It's just he just wants to be driving with his friend and please bring me somewhere else. I don't have nowhere to go. I have no no more no more home for me. I'm not welcome there. I don't know why exactly. I don't know if he's telling it later, but I think it's really cool. Actually, you know what? It, the subject kind of reminds me a bit of the song from Depeche Mode called Never Let Me Down. He's driving with a friend and he just wants to drive and just forget about all the problems. I like, I like this a lot. I like the way that he's singing. He's got a beautiful voice, first of all. And the way that he's singing it is bringing a sadness to it. But not a sadness that brings the... The song is not necessarily sad because if I was checking Big Mouth Strikes Again, the way that he's singing it, there is a little sadness in what he's, he's, the way that he's singing, but not necessarily the lyrics. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to shut up. I understand what I mean, but I'll try to explain it later, guys. I'm sorry about this. Let me continue.
strange fair grip me and I just couldn't ask Take me out tonight Oh, take me anywhere and I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired Hey guys, so exactly my point. I mean, you understand what I mean? The song, like the rhythm of the song, the way that he's singing it, I mean, he's singing some sad stuff, some seriously sad stuff in this, but it's not sad when I listen to the song, but the way that he's just singing it, the way that he's finishing his sentence, sentences, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it kind of brings a sadness to it, but that's not the sadness that you say, oh crap, I don't like this, it's depressing, not at all, it's just, it's in, in is inside I guess I don't know it maybe I don't know what kind of guy he is I don't know nothing at all maybe you guys can comment about this and tell me like are those uh, the lyrics that he's uh, writing are, are they like do they take out a form of sadness in the guy what kind of guy is he uh, I don't know I don't know how to explain it guys let me continue this Hey guys, that was an amazing song, really cool song. The music is great, it's tight, it's very cool. I love his voice, I love his lyrics. Now, I forget all that sad shit that I was talking about. Actually, I don't know if it's a, a kind of nostalgia that you find in his, uh, the way that he's singing, because actually I was saying to myself, well, he's not sad, at least not in the, the, the way that he's singing, the beat that he's keeping when he sings. It's not a song that's being sang in a sad way. It's just in his tone of voice. Because for the rest of it, when I listen to it, I kind of find it a bit ironic at the same time to hear the tone that he's using for singing such sad stuff. So that's why I was kind of mistaken uh, with the lyrics and with the way that he was singing. But actually, I guess it's a kind of his style of singing, which is very, very cool. He's got a great voice, and I love how he's singing it. Very sad stuff that he's talking in this song. Uh, and again, the way that he's singing it, there's a little something in his voice that I can't put my finger on it. Maybe you guys can help me. But you know what? I was so pissed at first of the way I was reacting and what I was saying. I couldn't find my words and I said, I'm going to start the reaction again. And I said, no way. I want you guys to see my first reaction. This is my first reaction. So there it is. I just wanted to keep it because I'm having sometimes problem expressing and finding the exact word that I got in my head. But I am going to be editing this and it's going to come back to me. I'm going to say, hey, that's what I meant exactly. So I know you guys understand. 
I truly love the song. So far, guys, flawless with the, for the Smiths. Very cool song, very different reason than other bands from Manchester. This is a very different band, but I love the style. I love the lyrics. I love the music. Wow, 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 wow. Very good song, guys. So, hey, I hope you, see you enjoyed my reaction, even though I had problems finding my words, guys. I'm sorry about that. I just want to remind you to press notification, comments, if you want to tell me what you think about the song, uh, what does that song mean to you guys, and at the same time, any facts that you want to tell me about Morrissey and the Smiths, I'll read them with a lot of interest, guys. You can subscribe to my channel, of course, guys. It's always cool to have some new subscribers and help my channel grow. Oh, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for taking your time. I want to wish you a great night, and I hope to see you soon for some more of this on Wally's Crib.